columbine, aquilegia species, and their hybrids. Aquilegia is a genus of, of herbaceous perennials that um, are native to the entire northern hemisphere. Um, there are species native to Europe, quite a few native to the United States as well as Asia. Um, and they've been hybridized highly to give us different uh, uh, colors and flower shapes as well as doubles and uh, that sort of thing. It's a fantastic spring plant to grow columbines. They love dappled shade. Think of uh, an opening in the forest and they, they like a good rich soil, um, not too much sun, plenty of moisture, and they bloom in the spring, mid-spring. For us here in New Haven, it's um, April into May, depending on the variety that we're growing. Some of them are a little bit later than others. Um, the doubles tend to be taller and a little bit later. Columbine is a member of the buttercup family, Ranunculaceae, and it shares with many of the members of that family the fact that it's poisonous. The name Aquilegia, the genus name, comes from uh, the Latin word for eagle, aquila. And um, this has to do with the similarity of the flower to an eagle's claw. These spurs coming off the back end of the, of the flower um, appeared to the Romans as an eagle's claw. Even the common name, Columbine, comes from a word that means pigeon and it also refers to the spurs on the back end of the flower. Columbines make a great cut flower. They're wonderful in a vase like you see in this photo um, and they, they're also wonderful in beds and spotted in the woodland garden. Columbines come up early in the spring. You see the foliage first and the foliage is a, a, is a light green, sometimes a blue-green. It's uh, almost uh, pea-like in some ways. It has lobes, distinct lobes as it comes up. It's, it's an unmistakable uh, sight in the garden, in the early garden. Then it blooms for us in uh, April into May, well into May, and then it continues as a mound of leaves and finally, in the hot, dry weather, it begins, that those leaves begin to uh, brown and die back. And then you can cut, at that point, you can cut the leaves. Uh, and then in, in August, you could, you, could plant, you could have something else planted in that area. Some people, um, a good combination that some people use is um, they plant some impatiens in that area that will then come up and uh, cover the, the uh, browning leaves of the aquilegia and both like the same conditions sh semi shade to shade and uh, plenty of moisture and good rich soil the color range is from um, the dark carmine pink to the white light pink blues here's a here's a purple and this has, a good, this has a good example of the claws on the back end, the eagle claws. Although not aromatic, the columbine is emblematic of spring. Columbine, aquilegia species, and hybrids.